the the the, uh, the notes that we have up up the right hand side here um, are C minus two to C sharp zero, um, so that means that they're actually very low uh, because the they're still outputting numbers. Although this is this legend is giving us a note name, that's just really to help us. What comes out of the left hand side here remain numbers. They don't change to letters because Max wouldn't understand that. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, we're still getting C, however many octaves below, five octaves below middle C, um, up to C sharp, well, three octaves below middle C. So that's not particularly useful to us. Um, so what we need to do in order to correct that is to add 60, as I've set up here. Um, we'll transpose it, the whole lot up by 60 semitones by putting a, a plus object underneath there. This. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put... A number box there, and I'll put a um, um, uh, plus object. We're going to add 60 for 60 semitones to that, uh, and then I'll put another number box down here so you can see what's happened. I'll connect that to make notes there. <coughs> um, so that that transposes everything up by however much. Um, well, well, we'll come back to that in a minute to see what's happened. But you can see that now our value, um, our, our um, size along the bottom here is going from 0 to 15. Um, the other two tables are still going from 0 to 127. So if we were going to only count through this table here, um, or at least we, we only want to count our 16 beats, we need to change these tables to a size of 16 as well. So I will use the inspector for that to change our table size to 16 again. We can leave the range of velocity to, 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 uh, at between 0 and 127 um, because the likelihood is we're going to want it to have a full range. Um, <clears throat> and similarly our, um, uh, our duration table uh, we can change as well. Um, this one too we can go to uh, 16 beats. Okay, so now all of them will count between 0 and 15. Um, the one thing we need to change now is counter, which we want also to count between 0 and 15, um, so that so that otherwise we'll just get a load of blank after after um, the value 15 comes out. So I'll change that to 0 to 15. <coughs> and now. So now it's just counting through that those 15 beats. Well, if I slow that down a little bit, because it's probably a bit too quick at the moment to hear that, to say, I don't know, um, 120, you know, a beat every 120 milliseconds. And we get a tune. So you could, you could spend a little bit of time sort of making a nice tune for yourself. too much but also obviously I can change the velocity over time and I can change the okay the problem we've got now I think we move down to the next bit is that our tune is a bit relentless it doesn't stop there's always a note coming out um, <clears throat> there are no rests there's no way of putting in a rest here so we can actually deal with that it's I suppose it's a slight clutch but it, it, it's a way that that works um, I suppose you could you could put in a velocity of zero for the notes that you want to have as a rest, but you'd still have a a, a, a note being displayed here. Um, so yeah, I mean I could I could just put in a a, a couple of um, zero velocities here, and you'll hear that the first notes don't. And so on. So you could you could do that. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do instead, though. Um, is to use, um, or I'll show you, show you a, a way of using a select object that we haven't used before, um, and that is to use its rightmost outlet um, to, as, as a means of um, only selecting the bits that we want. Um, and, and I'll make that a little bit clearer now. 
So if we um, drag this down a bit, because I want to add something just above there, I'm going to get rid of this. If I put in this, let's see how we do over time. About five minutes, not too bad. <coughs> Select 25. What this will obviously do is, for every time the uh, this um, table shows um, C sharp 0, which is the value 25 in this particular table, um, it will select it. Um, but we don't actually, what I'm suggesting that we do is we actually ignore that note. So we don't um, pass that through to the make note, um, so we won't hear an, we won't hear anything. Um, and we can use select to do this because obviously we we know that when it finds a 25 in whatever it's receiving, it will send a bang out of this left-hand outlet. Well, if we don't send that left-hand outlet to anything, it's just going to, uh, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to be ignored. What we can do instead is to send, I'm going to remove the original link to the plus 60 object, and send it from the right-hand side. Remember that this is input if input doesn't match. So anything that it doesn't recognise, i.e. not anything other than 25, is going to be sent through. But 25 itself is going to be essentially ignored because uh, we're not sending this bang, or this outlet, to anything. Um, so now we have a means of, of putting in rest, just so long as we remember that this top line is not a C-sharp after all. It's, um, it's a rest. <laughs> and so on. <coughs> um, so that's, uh, you know, it, it's not terribly beautiful sounding at the moment, but you could arrange it so that it sounds quite interesting. You know, you could make a, uh, a nice um, step sequencer out of that. Um, so what we'll do quickly now is to do what it suggests in uh, the um, exercises and download this patch. Let's open it first of all. Uh, where are we? Exercises, no, it's the Polytune sequence. It comes up looking like that. Uh, get rid of this again. <coughs> Actually, I'm going to start a new tutorial for this because it may take longer than the three minutes I have remaining. 